Okay, good morning. This is Elliot from Hexcam and the Earl Academy. Um, I get asked quite a lot about updating uh, firmware on the Phantoms and Inspire, so I'm going to take you through that today. So I got a little bit of a cold, so I'm a little bit snuffly. Um, so what you're going to need is obviously your aircraft, <clears throat> your controller, your tablet, whatever you're using, uh, your micro SD card, and your computer. Um, I'm doing this on Windows. You can do it through Mac. I use Mac as well, but I have found that generally the updates work better working through Windows. So I'm going to try and take you through it all the way from the beginning. I'll probably forget stuff. Uh, if you've got any questions, ask them in the comments. Um, so the first thing is you will be notified when updates are required. Obviously, it's up to you to decide when you apply them. Um, uh, some people tend to wait a little while, a few weeks, to see what happens, check out the forums, see if anybody's having issues. I tend to be someone that updates early. Uh, this time I haven't, uh, just because we've been a bit too busy. So I'm going to be updating today my Phantom, the Inspire Pro, and the Inspire with the X3 camera as well. Uh, I've just updated the Osmo, so this is quite nice with the um, the actual video is... Uh, the fan stops when you're doing video now, so that makes it a bit nicer to hear. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is to format the SD card, and I don't format the SD card in the uh, laptop, I always format the, the SD card in the aircraft, excuse me as I lean in. Um, so, getting the transmitter on, connecting up to the app, and turning on the aircraft. So yes, the first thing then, um, ignoring the fact that we've got no signal at the moment, is to go into the central menu, scroll down, format the SD card. Are you sure you want to format? Yes, I do. Formatting and done. So that's now done. So next is to turn off everything. Turn off the transmitter, turn off the aircraft. You don't want the transmitter on during the update process for the, um, for the aircraft itself. You want purely want the aircraft um, on on its own. Okay, so I've turned everything else off. Uh, grab my little micro SD card reader. And what I've already done is I've already downloaded the firmware, the correct firmware from the DJI website. So what you want to do is uh, get to the DJI website, find your aircraft, make sure you've got the right one. So in this case it's Phantom 3 Professional, so go to Phantom, Phantom 3 Series, and Phantom 3 Professional. Scroll down to Downloads. And when you've got the downloads, you've got the, the, la the last couple of firmwares on there. And the one I'm updating today, uh, I'm on the 8th of July, it's been a while, um, is 1.9.6.0. So you download the zip file. Once you've downloaded the zip file, um, unzip it to somewhere sensible. So I've unzipped mine to a, a folder on my desktop with all the firmware in it. So I've got it, Fantasy Free Pro, and all there should be once you've unzipped it, is the file with the correct firmware number and then .bin, .bin at the end. Take that file and drop it onto your uh, SD card, your micro SD card. So I'm just going to copy that, go to my micro SD card, and I'm going to drop it outside the DCIM folder. Okay, so it needs to be in the root directory of the SD card. Okay, so you should see your firmware, and then the DCIM, and, and if, you're, if you've got view hidden folders, there's also one called MISC as well. Okay, at that point you can eject your um, storage device, take that out, and now we're going to put that straight into the aircraft. and turn the aircraft on. Without the transmitter on. Now the thing to bear in mind here is that the lights are irrelevant. Everything is irrelevant except the sound. So ignore the lights, ignore random flashes of the battery, random flashes of the LEDs. Just focus on the sound it's about to start making. So as it's reading the firmware, 
you'll start to get the G, 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 G. You'll hear it. Okay. And then once it's starting to do the firmware, you'll start to hear the sound change. There you go. I hope you can pick that up. Okay, so that's the sound you want to hear. And then what you want to do is leave it alone and go and make yourself a coffee. Uh, have a wander around for 10, 15 minutes or whatever you're going to do. Go play outside. And you want to wait for it to, to change from da 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 to da da da. So long, short, short. And that's when it's done. People, I think, tend to try and think, oh, it must be done. It's been sitting there for a while. Turn it off or whatever. No, leave it, okay? And then come back to it. So I'm, we're going to leave this video now, and then I'm going to come back to it after I've had a coffee. Okay, we're about five minutes in, and um, as you may be able to see on the Phantom, all of the lights have gone out, okay? There's no lights on there at all. And again, you're ignoring this, because the sound is still going. Okay, so we continue to leave it. Back in a minute. Okay, we're heading to about 10 minutes in now. Um, the gimbal just completely died for a little while, flopped around, and then it just rebooted and uh, reset itself. So I'm assuming at this point that that was the gimbal updating. Um, the lights are back on and flashing, but the noise is still the same, so you ignore everything. Back in a minute. And, lit and literally, sorry, a second after I stopped that video, uh, so this update took about uh, 10 minutes, um, the noise has changed. So this is what you're listening out for. You hear how that's changed from da 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 to da da da. And that's the indication that it's finished. So at that point, you can turn your aircraft off. Now you could go on to update the transmitter. Something I forgot to say at the beginning is always update the aircraft before you do any transmitter updates through the app, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to do is update any additional batteries. I'm only going to show you one of these. So what will happen is, and it will normally be quite short, if there is a required battery update, then putting additional batteries in will allow you to update those. So I'll just grab the battery from over here. So if I put this next battery in, and power it up we should hear it trying to go into the update again Okay, there it is going into the update again. Sorry, I left my emails on there, so I'll just blank those out in the post. Okay, there it goes, dead, 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 dead. Also, sometimes when the battery's doing its update, you'll see that the back of the battery flashes a bit differently as it's uh, updating. But again, ignore the flashing, listen to the sound. Should only take about a minute to do each battery. Um, I haven't had updates fail very often. Occasionally it has just stopped, but that was I haven't seen that since way back in the early firmwares. Um, okay, there's a change in sound. Da, da, da. And that sound is actually coming from the gimbal motors. Okay, so at that point you can safely turn that off. And you just repeat that for every battery you've got. So if you've got a number of batteries, you can now put all those in um, and get them updating. Okay? 
So now we're going to progress on to the uh, transmitter. Now the transmitter itself is updated now through the app. So you no longer have to put the SD card into the transmitter via a USB like you used to. So you've just got to um, update it through the app itself. So we've got no signal obviously because I haven't got the computer turned on, uh, the, sorry, the um, machine turned on. I'm just going to click into the uh, what's normally the, the GPS um, safe to fly button at the top there and you'll see at the very top it says updates required or you probably won't see it says updates required but it does so I'm going to click on the updates required part and it says remote controller update required see firmware upgrade tutorial for details and you've got the option of downloading the firmware by the way I use Android um, so it may appear slightly differently in the um, iPad version, but it should be similar. So download firmware. It will then download, hopefully. Yep, so it's beginning to download. And I'll come back to you once that's downloaded. Okay, the download is finished. <clears throat> so it says do not can disconnect the remote controller and mobile device ensure that the RC battery charge is above 50% which it is uh, it also goes without saying if you're doing any updates on the main aircraft make sure your batteries are fully charged before you start doing that um, the update requires approximately 10 minutes do not turn off the ready control during the update so I'm going to start the upgrade it is currently 9.43 a.m. let's see how that works out so start upgrade and you hear again look da 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 Da, 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 da. So it does exactly the same beep sequence, um, but at the end, instead of um, going to the da, da, da sound, the light, the LED will go green. Okay. If the update fails, it will go red. So we'll just again, we'll leave that. So it's 9:44, and I'll come back to you when this is done. So at nine. 47 as I turn it back on we're 96% updated the beep stopped for a second there and then carried on which it normally does just before the end just before it's finished so hopefully if we wait a minute or two um, we should be done so the beep sometimes go a bit weird but you've got the blue light here showing you the update still going on still beeping away so it should be done any second hopefully 98% and done so it says upgrade complete restart your remote controller so we'll restart the remote controller okay so the app has Oh, it's gone into lychee. Huh. Yeah, I think I must have accidentally uh, set lychee to open automatically during training yesterday. So if I've now sorted that out, if I turn it on again, it will give me the option of opening lychee or go, hopefully. Okay, so we're going to choose DJI Go just once. Once DJI Go is open, I'm going to turn the Aircraft on. Okay, it's 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 found that it's a Phantom Three, and we've got should be able to go in now, and it's saying firmware is of the latest version. So, all is good, except we're getting no signal from the camera. Uh, maybe because I'm so close to it. Um, I'll check that shortly. I've definitely got all of my battery telemetry um, and my satellites, so I'm just going to check out why we might not have the camera, um, and we'll see see how that goes. Often it's because you sat too close initially. Uh, will the motors start? Oh, it's come. There it is. So when I moved it away, there's the uh, there's the camera, and I have control of the camera on the drag. And I have control of the camera on the uh, on the wheel, 
uh, safe to find non-GPS because we're indoors. Obviously, I've got eight satellites just sat in my sat in here. Um, but it's all it's all looking good at the moment, other than breaking up a bit because I'm so close to the aircraft and the aircraft motors. Will start. Oh, I've now got this area may include flight restrictions. Continue flight. I'm authorised to fly in this area. This is the reason being is, is that Norwich Airfield is about three miles away from us, so we're in the we're in the restricted area around Norwich Airfield. Um, so this is the new DJI Geo update. So I'm authorised, if required, to fly in this area. And I want to, and I accept full responsibility for my flight, and I confirm that. Um, I mean, it appears it was going to let me take off anyway. Um, but that seems to have worked. So I'm happy with that. I'll test flight later. Um, but that's how you do the update on the Phantom 3 Professional or any of the Phantom, uh, Phantom 3 range. And... Um, how you update the transmitter as well. So this is Elliot from Hexcam. I hope that was helpful. Any questions, ask in the comments. Cheers.